Channel. So today is Sunday the 24th of September. It's been exactly one week since I got back from Turkey and honestly the last week has been an utter shit show. I feel like I need to do a quick life update. So I got back on Sunday, ended up falling sick for a couple of days, went back to work, had a couple of really good days but then Friday hit. I don't really want to go into the details of it but I was in a terrible mood all day, cried multiple times, feel very embarrassed about the whole situation and to be honest just ended up feeling really burnt out fatigued in a terrible mood and that was very disappointing because I've just come back from a one week long holiday I should not be feeling that way so yesterday I let myself sleep in I just needed to let myself rest a little bit and then headed to Cardiff if you've seen the hair saga then you know I got my hair done a couple weeks ago I always asked for an ashy blonde balayage and it ended up being copper and it was unblended it was terrible I was not happy about it so yesterday I finally went and got it fixed and I'm so much happier with it it's the exact color I wanted it's nice and blended it's exactly what I asked for and it's crazy how much more confident I already feel and it feels really weird that for those two weeks where my hair wasn't what I wanted I didn't really like looking in the mirror I didn't feel good about myself and it's just crazy the amount of difference your hair can make so I feel really good about that and now like I said today is Sunday which is gonna be a great day I'm putting it out there I am dressed like this because I got my first netball match with my new club and I'm so excited I'm insanely nervous because I haven't played a competitive netball match in probably like seven years so I don't know how it's gonna go I'm playing center which is my first position of choice and I'm also team captain which I don't know how that happened but I'm very excited I'm kitted out I'm ready to go it's about 10 30 right now and the match is at 12 it takes about half an hour to get there I want to be able to find parking because I've never been there before so I'm gonna head off at about 11 I think that is pretty much all I have to say I have got so much to do at the moment because I've been procrastinating as I said I had pretty much a shitty week and was not motivated to do my to-do list so today we're gonna also tackle that but first, let's go get some exercise in and hopefully we win. I figured while I'm here, I'll just do a quick Primark haul because everybody loves a Primark haul. I had to buy some shorts. I did order them on Amazon, but they didn't arrive in time. So I just got a pack of two of these like little exercise shorts. And I mean, they're comfy, they were cheap. It was like two pairs for six pounds or something. So I'm not really that mad about it, but I'm hoping my Amazon ones come soon. And then I just got myself a, another claw clip. I love this one for autumn. I just thought it was very fall. And then I got some of these makeup remover pads that are reusable. I really want to get into using these more, but they're so expensive. And I saw these, a pack of five for £2.50. I figured I'd just try them out before I invested in some better ones. And lastly, I just got a little purple workout top. I figured this would be cute for when I have netball training tomorrow. So yeah, all my jewellery is off. I cut my nails this morning. I'm pretty much all ready to go. And now I'm just procrastinating because I'm getting nervous, but let's head off. Tesco on my way home from netball to do my weekly grocery shop and I figured I would do a quick haul. So for breakfast I'm kind of realizing that I don't love to eat first thing in the morning but I want to start making sure that I've got something in my tummy before I go to work especially if for example I've got all morning in theatre. I don't want to go on an empty stomach so this week I'm going to start doing protein smoothies. For that I got some bananas, I got some frozen mango and then I'm going to add Add Greek yogurt into the mix just to make it a little bit more creamy and it also just adds some extra protein 
And then my sweet treat for the week are these strawberry protein yogurts, either for breakfast with fruit or if I'm craving something sweet after dinner or lunch, it's just a very nice filling treat. For lunches, I've got two options, either veggie omelets with sausages and beans or sandwiches if I'm a little bit more strapped for time and just want something quick and easy. So for that, I obviously got eggs. I am fully stocked up. I got the Beyond Meat sausages, which are definitely my favorite option for veggie and gluten-free sausages and they are fairly high in protein and then I love to have onions in my omelette so I got some red onions white onions and then bell peppers for the sandwiches I got gluten-free rolls and then I got a couple of options for cheeses this chili red leicester just sounded amazing I couldn't resist and then I got extra mature cheddar which is always a solid option the other thing that I want to put in the sandwiches are these corn chicken slices just to add a little bit of extra protein and make it more satiating and then I will obviously put red onions and spinach and everything else in the sandwiches too. And then for dinners, I'm going to make my own sort of variation of egg fried rice because in Turkey, they made this really yummy spinach and red onion dish. And I swear all they did was chuck it in a pan and saute it in oil or butter. So I'm going to do that, but I wanted to make it more nutritional, satiating, a bit healthier. So I'm going to add that into egg fried rice. So I got some microwavable rice because I honestly hate making my own rice. I find it such a chore. And then obviously I got a ton of spinach because as soon as you cook this, it shrivels down to a tiny amount. I'm gonna add in pinto beans to make it a little bit more satisfying to eat. And then I'm also going to saute up some aubergine with the red onions and spinach. I think that sounds really good. And then as kind of like a garnish, I'm gonna add some spring onion on the top. And then the last couple bits of food I got are definitely not healthy but if you know me you know that I always like to have a gluten-free pizza in the freezer just kind of as like an emergency meal if I'm feeling like I want something unhealthy but I don't want to order food and then the other thing I got was just this roasted cauliflower and spicy rice meal it was on offer for one pound and I couldn't resist because it actually looked really yummy and then the rest of this haul is literally just a bunch of treats that I decided to get myself so firstly I got this face mask kit I also got myself a couple pairs of longer socks because I like to wear these for netball. They just provide a little bit of additional ankle support and these ones are like thermal ones, so they're a little bit more padded. I also just restocked on my hand soap because mine's about to run out and this scent is so autumnal, I couldn't resist. It's perfect for this time of year. And speaking of, I also got this candle for that exact reason. It just smells like autumn and smells really good. And then the last thing I got was super random, but I've been looking for a while for a simple, like small slash medium sized glass vase for my flowers. And I haven't been able to find one. They're all so like elaborate and unnecessarily colorful in my opinion. So I figured I would just get this jar, take off the lid and then put my flowers in it. It looks exactly like what I've been looking for. So I got that and to go in it, I got myself two bunches of very gorgeous flowers. Okay, so first things first, we lost atrociously. <laughs> I'm actually embarrassed to think about what the end score was. We got absolutely slaughtered, but all I can say is it was a fun start to the season and honestly, we can only go up from here. So I started off a center, which was great. And I let the coach know that I used to also shoot. So my main positions were center, goal attack, and sometimes wing attack if I felt like it. And she decided to, in the last quarter, put me as goal shooter, which I don't know why she did that because I've literally never played shooter before, but I took on the challenge and proceeded to miss every single shot that I tried, which was mortifying. And that has never happened to me before. I know it's been a fair few years since I've practiced and actually played a shooter, but it was so embarrassing. So I'm excited for training tomorrow because I'm gonna ask to play goal attack a little bit more and just get back into it. But it was a fun experience. We came back, I showered up, had some lunch, and now it is 4 p.m. I have honestly just been procrastinating all the shit that I need to get done today, and it's time to just tackle it. So I'm gonna have a couple of hours of just getting my life together. My to-do list written on my phone is literally like longer than the length of my arm. So first things first, I'm going to get my planner out, organize my to-do list, see what's actually feasible to get done today, and what I can, 
put off until next week and just knock some shit out really so that is my plan for now i also just want to go through my calendar and write everybody's birthdays down i know that's probably something i should have done a while ago but i have just come to the realization that i'm working now i'm earning and i want to be that person that sends a birthday card and a gift for everybody who i love on their birthday so i've got both my sister-in-law's birthday is coming up and I just want to go order their card now so that I don't forget. I just want everybody around me to know that they are loved and they deserve a little something every now and then and now that I can actually afford to do that, that's the kind of person I want to be because everybody does that for me. I always get birthday cards on my birthday and now I want to give back. So that is my plan for now. I'm going to get into just figuring out my to-do list because honestly it's a mess and I've just been feeling chaotic and overwhelmed the last few days and I know why all I need to do is just sort this shit out and tackle as much as I can but I just procrastinated it and now here we are I'm stressed out and I haven't done anything in like a week <laughs> So let's just get on with it. Okay, so I've organized all the stuff that I need to do into categories. So we've got home, work, YouTube, and then this is all the stuff that I'm going to attempt to finish today. Let's just get right into it. It is now 7.30 and I've actually made some pretty good progress on this to-do list. The only stuff that I haven't checked off yet is the YouTube stuff, which honestly was not a top priority for me today. I've been so behind on work stuff that I just wanted to spend the last couple of hours really catching up on that. I specifically have to critically appraise an article and present it on Wednesday as part of the Obs and Gynae Journal Club, which I can't say I actually volunteered to do, but I know it'll look really good on my portfolio and my future Obs and Gynae applications. So I decided to take on that challenge. One of the regs said she would help me and support me, which is really nice because I had no idea what I was doing. But I've just spent the last couple of hours going through the article and making a summary of all the findings endings and honestly I'm actually quite happy that I'm doing it. Firstly it's a very interesting article, it's looking at the relationship between mental health issues and menopause which I don't think is a very talked about thing and I feel like there are a lot more people that need to be a lot more aware about these kinds of issues especially in primary care and GP practices so I'm actually kind of enjoying learning about it and I also just think it's going to be helping my future self. So that's pretty much what I've been doing the last few hours as well well as just kind of admin stuff, submitting applications for leave, sending some emails off, all of that. And like I said, it's now 7.30. I am pretty hungry. So I'm going to make some dinner and then I think I'm going to get into some late night editing because I am so behind on YouTube videos. I've got, I think, four that I filmed that are completely unedited and not at all ready to be uploaded, which upsets me a bit because before I went to Turkey, I was consistently uploading once a week and since then I've had no motivation I've been procrastinating way too much and I just want to get back into the swing of things so I'm hoping to at least edit one video tonight and also do a couple of thumbnails and then the rest of the stuff that I don't get done today will just have to be moved to tomorrow's to-do list which is fine because my to-do list was so long at the beginning of today and I'm just glad that I've made a dent in it so I'm happy I'm gonna make myself some dinner and then we'll get back into it Thank you. 